everyone let's full good morning everyone let's full start our lesson 3 today lesson will go through lo3 as you know me my name anjun sathar please can we look you know 5 minute what we learned during our previous lesson uh, so lo1 lo2 let's you know please do a big uh, look you know what we learned during our last two lesson and then we'll start our lesson okay so please if you have any question drop the email uh on my email address anjumatukvc.co.uk i'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible okay let's you know spend 5 minutes please what we learned during and we'll do a bit recap and then we'll start our lesson
program. So hope you had a look, you know, the LO1, LO2, what we learned during our last lesson. So let's please, we'll start our lesson. So I'll share with you the slide in a minute and then we'll start our lesson. Anybody, any question, please? Those are listening this recording. Please, if you have a question, you can drop me email, anjum at ukversity.co.uk. So this lesson is LO3. We In lesson one, we learn about uh, what is meant by procurement. We had a discussion about contract. We discussed about risk, you know, uh, and uh, we had a discussion about uh, different legislation. We discuss about risk register. Okay, let's you know. I'll share with you. Is log in on OTHL level seven and pick your unit. Diploma in project management and your unit two, which is risk. Government and risk. Okay, welcome. Let's please, we'll start. Okay, so this is unit two, and we are doing today is our LO3, planning outcome three, procurement risk, and the contract management during our LO1. We had a discussion about LO1 in the previous lesson. So <clears throat> LO1, we discuss about understand the core concept of the procurement and management. So we discuss about various models of procurement within EU and others that we had during our lesson one. We discuss about contract management. Okay, so LO2, learning outcome two, we had a discussion about critically evaluate the procurement operating environment. We discuss about various legislation. We discuss about GDPR. We discuss about contract. We discuss about various other legislation, you know, the, how the contract or the procurement contract will need to be improved and how the information is online uh, and uh, need to be secure. So that we had in previous lesson. And today's lesson is our LO3 learning outcome three, which we'll go through. Okay, let's play. <clears throat> okay. So LO3 is understand the management of the procurement operations. Uh, it's been divided into two parts, you know, which we look in uh, management of the procurement operations. So discuss the key principles of and the application of categories of management and critically assess the impact of technology on the procurement. Technology is really changing. Now you think about AI, artificial intelligence, you think about the blockchain, you think about IBM system 3090 of logistic, which is given by IBM is linked with the satellite and moving the stuff, you know, we have a SMS sales management system and we can look around the integration between, you know, between the suppliers and actually the company who is buying and selling with the vendors and customers and we can key principal application of categories management so strategic approach which we can look around in this speaking mean long-term approach you know where the operation segment segment being divide the total into the small elements spending and brought in the goods and the service brought in like um, Inbound and outbound. Inbound is mean brought in and outbound is mean sell. <clears throat> May involve, you know, separating the direct in direct product and the services relating to. So we have to look around the value we link to the customer. So that's why it's three concept. What we do, you know, is we have to look around BFM value for money. That's, you know, will bring that. 
uh, we need to be regular update and then the organization spend uh, always good to be you have a marquee data like in the uk onf office of national statistic carry on or uh, we can look around the control list of procurement which is you know if you're dealing with the country those are bound are the companies those are bound you know consulate we can look around kpi key performance indicator and then you identify area of improvement categories of the uh, management cycle which we can look around the life cycle review define the category which you think you want to be procurement like is a mechanical is electrical is electronic uh, assess the role of categories is very important you can in the procurement assess you know the performance set the objective and the target with the scoreboard and devise you know strategies strategies mean action plan you can devise you know which which one where and different tactics you can use it <clears throat> this will buy from china this will buy from here you can and this item is a high value this item is a low value this item is come under the known current asset which is mean you know high value assets uh, this is day in and out you know low value asset which we can buy from anywhere there are what are the legal implication how much cash involved what are the payment method all we need to be look around we can categorize approach of the categorize which we can look around before going the market we can look around demand and shaping the requirement always we look the source of activity where you will buy you know and the contract and the supplier management, how you will make the contract, what will be term and condition, and look around the legal process, which we discussed in our second lesson, value for money and value added product, how we can, we can hey, think about, you know, Michael Porter value chain model, the primary activity and the sporting activity. So the logistic come under the primary activity in the project that can play the key role, you know, we can look around business identification, market analysis, source strategy you can look around market analysis political economic social technological supply is all you know which we can look around uh look around the source of strategy <clears throat> which we can look around the and then you can finalize the contract that's you know the contract is being offer and accepted we have a Pareto rule 80 20 our Pareto rule in category which we can look around small number of the category represent the majority of the total spend and small number of the supplier cause the disproportionate number of the problem so part of the amount change so we can look around and the part of the values in the percentage so how much rule 80 20 80 percent coming from 20 percent and 20 percent coming from 80 percent that's you know the change we can look around what impact we have you know so that's we can uh, buy the things then we have second abc <coughs> normally the word abc is also known as activity based costing yes so we can look at an activity supplier a supplier b supplier c how many percent how many number of supplier how much we spend in the percentage of the total good that you want to buy so you can proportion it and benefit of category step chain in the saving delivery uh, deliver deliver saving across the entire category not just you know specific requirement engage you know with the stakeholders stakeholders mean anyone who has any interest in the business is a stake so blind in the demand and the challenges through the stakeholders management and focus the supply market and actively encourage innovation innovation it's been changed something like you know we have the model is given by living three-step model but we change so you have to look around unfreeze change and refreeze you know that's three-step model so if i think about nokia didn't change themselves they're not sustain you know so we have to bring the innovation the change benefit of category the result you know improvement service level improvement quality value for money reduce risk supply chain cross you know the functional team approach which we can ensure buy into outcome and raise the profile of the procurement that's we need to be second we have 3.2 critically assess the impact of the technology and the procurement technology play the key role on the procurement i will said you know technology is uh, like use the use of technology in the procurement that's the huge you know so you have a list of you have a list of the supply you electronically look the reviews are and it's come you know the selection of the supply uh, with the passage of time technology and we're moving towards the procurement we don't need to be filled up watches now everything is electronically uh, technology intervention in procurement e-procurement we can do the procure to pay 
ERP, enterprise resource planning, you know, it's in the procurement, that's quite crucial. And the source of the contract, which we need to be look around. Your procurement soon will be automated. Of course, you know, we have to look around automated customer support, jack high, the office supply, we can look around. We have now AI system, like if any website you go, no, the AI system will answer automatically the question you raise, you know, picking the data and give you the full, you know, and even recommend you the website which you want. These are the some steps, you know, example is being given and good to, if you have any question, please, we can add more examples. <clears throat> okay, procure to pay cycle, of course, you know, process of the requisition, purchasing, receiving and paying and accounting goods and services, coordinate and integrate the action taken, the full requirement of the goods and service, and involve the sequence stage, you know, we can ranging from the needs identification to, first of all, always good to be needs identified, what is the needs, and look around the demand and supply and the payments, that also is quite crucial, you know, in, so first requisition of order place, look around the vendor selection of the suppliers, purchase order raise, requiring the document lodge, invoice receive, invite reconciliation again, the purchase order we do, and then account payable. Yes, then you can pay account. <coughs> okay, ERP, which is called Enterprise Resource Planning, that's we can look around the purchase, uh, HRMS, uh, Human Resource Management System, customer relationship management, inventory management, warehouse management, e-commerce, uh, finance and sales are, you know, this is all known as ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning System. Uh, enterprise Resource Planning Foundation of the Acquisition Team, Examination of the Business Requirement, consolid Consolidation, form uh, and Evaluation Criteria, and we can look at our evaluation between, you know, the fit. So evaluation means looking all possible option and selecting the best course of action. Okay, anybody, any question, please? Uh, okay, so collective set of the procurement, we can look around the process of adopting, you know, the sourcing product and the services. The process began with the analyzing the product or the services and sourcing of strategy. Strategy mean action plan for future and source strategy, where will be the goods will be buy, why will be buy, you can wait A, B, C, ranking, <clears throat> approach is prioritize ranking, always good to be. Do and the advantage of uh, which we can look around and advance it to require the quotation contract negotiation. Okay, negotiation skill is very important. That's you know the person who dealing with the contract can play the key role. If you have a background, really a uh, background work, you know that can be <clears throat> your ranking is this. We are the ranking of supplier is this. You both are the same ranking, but this give me ninety days credit. You give me sixty days credit. The quality and uh, the standard meet with the European quality standard or not. Integrating P2P and uh, procurement to procurement, are, we can look around the source, uh, these, you know, which we can source of contract and uh, which we can look around the procure to pay, which we look around, spend the data management, strategic sourcing, vendors, tactical. So with these steps, you know, we can follow for the better management and categorize and account payable. Account payable all at the end, you know, what advice we have and what we're supposed to be paid. <clears throat> Enabler for the next generation procurement. So we have the processes. The processes need to be streamlined. That's, you know, very, very crucial because think about the uh, Argus is not making the things themselves. They is the catalog company buying things. We want to, if customer order the furniture, really we don't need to store in our warehouse what we can do, we can order to our manufacturer, pass the information from manufacturers to the delivery company. We can order directly delivered. <clears throat> so it save our warehouse, you know, so we can look around based on the day, process data mining and evaluate the process within the procurement organization. Now is the harmonize the procurement across the business. Geographically streamline, you know, approval process. Governance, governance is very important how to run how the system will flow, how the, there is a, there is a no leakage. Leakage, the word we use, you know, like the waste of the things. We use the lean, lean concept is a lean manufacturing, lean procurement is reducing the waste, safeguard, huh? that's the Japanese approach. 
okay enable next generation procurement model organization by embracing the gale gale concept is also looking the uh, reducing the waste volatile capacity requirement address you know more complex you know capacity requirement uh, capabilities mean ability to do culture of organization culture mean norms value how we can so we have to train the culture moving towards more e procurement e learning and technical skill and the softer skill is very crucial who deal with the procurement <clears throat> so enabler of the next generation procurement model digital of course uh, data information knowledge and wisdom so data raw facts and figures information is a lifeblood for any business and the knowledge you make the decision based on the knowledge it will bring the value and integration real time information is very crucial because the things are so changed rapidly advanced analytics technique at the moment most important subject is in analytics uh, that's you know which we can look around the known procurement and prescribe you know sources of the decision that guide the value and delivery. Okay, guys. So this is we discuss about procurement LO three, and we anybody any question? Okay, under LO three we can look around examine the. Uh, contract and opportunity electronically and expand the various risk associated. So we have 3.3, examine the use of the electronic promotion of the contract and the opportunity. Technology bringing a lot of opportunity, you know, so <clears throat> we can look around the meaning of the tender uh, invitation or the bid we can say, and the bid is very important. It meet all the legal requirement you have. Most important thing in the bid, you know, not a bribery involved, not a back end, you know, and other things we not involve and the commercial criteria and technical criteria should be meet, you know, technical process involved, the entire process managing the bid related to invitation of request. So technically we need to be look around planning, advert, mm -hmm. supplier selection, tender, tender evaluation, contract and contract start and going management. Uh, that's, you know, which we can look around. E-tendering is becoming more important. Online tenders involve, you know, <clears throat> carry out the entire tendering process online. Uh, yes, so really, you know, these are the key steps, you know, the creation, tender promotion, document release, pre-bid uh, pre meetings with the, your and enabler to payment gateways and tender. Other, you know, we can look around the hedging protection against the foreign currency valuation. That can be tender evaluation, negotiation. You have to, uh, tender award you be and then vendor registration supplier and tender audit you know audit is very important audit means checking the accuracy why e tendering is effective efficient mechanism of course it's procurement policy ensure no of course ai can play the key role here you know blockchain information can play the key role uh, it can shorten the uh, procurement life cycle because it can be quick you know uh git just in time inventory management can be quite you know managed through this process and easy storage last bit evaluation document and completely automated process various in the stage we can look around e tender uh, rfb uh, invitation uh, to prospect you know the supplier to bid you know on the surveys we can request to info which we can use you know these the terms which is quite good a request to the proposal request to the quotation and request to the tender please you know which we can we can look around request to the tender request to the procurement and these are is a huge benefit for our business which we can look around okay so the auction yes auction is also is not is a, a lot of companies do auction online bidding online online marketing one buyer and the seller simple uh, forward auction one or many potential buyers can be uh, reverse actions which we can one buyer many potential seller many sellers and many buyers which vertical auction so we can look around e auction process sellers uh, listing bidders so these are processes we can are uh, the model we can use it you know so benefit of the price discovery the the increase you know buying reach uh, improve supply market knowledge and cost reduction is a bargaining and no need to be go and everyone can do you know the which we can look around explain the various risk you know e-tendering 
which we can, of course, the attending can be some risk. Risk is mean the probability or the chance of happening. Gaining, you know, the initiate interest, making the case, commit the resource and deliver the benefit. So leadership and ownership, the project, manage the youth and buy-in, selling, and manage buy-in and selling the benefit and organize the design and the compliance with the corporate, you know, the contract. So risk, uh, pre-tendering, you have to look around what are those are the targets you have to, uh, the tendering, the time to be bid, not to be conformity, the legal provision, artificial bid. Uh, we can look around the post-tendering, a uh, new bid specification include the award, the contract, substantial changes you want, you know, so you have to look around in the bid there is need to be if there are any inconsistency. Risk cover the investment in the procurement tools, not deliver expected benefit or accessories or the manuals or uh, other, you know, the technical support not being with intent. So that's, you know, which we can look around all the tools that need to be access affordable. When there may be a technological problem at the time, bid submission, the deadline is, can be mitigation circumstances that the risk, you know, which we can look around the good management and monitoring, knowledge about fair government portals, we can proper communication with the stakeholders <clears throat> provide the simple simplified tendering process, a lodging to the activity, re-tendering, implementation to the bid, encryptions at the client, and the PKI based uh, technology and automatic bidding. That's you know which we can look around. And today lesson we look around part A and part B. We more about the tendering and contract. We look around the risk in second. Risk is mean probabilities of happenings okay so today lesson was focused on our lo3 and the next lesson will go through lo4 which is uh which is more about the risk categorized of risk risk management and risk register so please you know before next lesson if you look around and if you have any question drop me email so guys if you have any question before next lesson you can drop me email and you may at uk.co.uk i'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible thanks for attending have a lovely weekend and i'll speak to you thank you bye bye